Here we have two of the most hardcore off-road mid-size trucks on the market. Stop, stop. The Tacoma TRD Pro and the Gladiator Rubicon. We're gonna hook them together and see which one pulls the other. We here at Edmonds test over 300 cars and trucks every single year. But what you're about to see isn't one of those tests. Now tug of wars have become popular lately, but if you think this is solid consumer advice, you are sadly mistaken. It's pure ridiculousness. To quote Sigourney Weaver from Galaxy Quest, it's my job, it's stupid, but I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Theoretically, a tug of war is a simple contest to see who's strongest. When it comes to vehicles, it's not so easy. Differences in tires, the amount of weight pressing down on the rear axle, the surface itself, how much torque there is, what the gearing is in the axles. None of these things are really the same, so it's hard to really have a fair competition. For the first test, we're running in four high. I am ready. Both trucks will have traction and stability control disabled. I am ready. We're not running in four low because we don't want to break anything and we just want to have some fun. Oh, th this is great. This is, you know what? Stop! Stop! I don't know what's going on, but it's not good for the transmissions. The wheels aren't turning at all. And nobody's making any ground. I wonder if we should put it in two-wheel drive mode. We're not sure exactly what happened, but it seemed that traction control wasn't really off. So in this next round, we're leaving them in two-wheel drive. That ought to show a difference. I'm in two-wheel drive. So am I. But I need to turn off tra traction control and I gotta find the button. Who thought acting like an idiot would take so much time? All right, everybody ready? Ready. 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 That's a nice little sandcastle you made. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, that's... I hope we brought some sand rails. <laughs> I think I have hole. grippier tires. Look at, they just dug a hole. Yeah, I think a uh, dry lake bed is not a good place for this. No, it's not. We should have probably done this in an Arby's parking lot. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to fill this in. I think so too. Yeah, they won't be they won't be happy with us. We we'll probably leave that steak here too. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, Let's I think so. Home. Let's see if I can get out. That'll be good. <laughs> if we unhook and I put everything in four wheel drive, do you think I can drive out? You're on your own. I'm fine. <laughs> wow. Uh, you should see the left rear. It's sitting on the frame. I just dug a hole. All right, see if I can get myself out of the hole that I dug. So I'm gonna put it in four high. Uh, maybe I should put it in four low. All right, let's see if I can get out. I'm gonna see if I can get myself out of this mess. <laughs> Look at that. You guys are laughing. This is really 
<laughs> and that one's just sitting there. <laughs> we do good work. I did all the work. <laughs> you did. All right, let's fill this. <laughs> Seriously, we gotta fill this. No one will notice, right? No. Good. To the hole. Nothing to see here. Nope. Nothing happened. Ooh, sorry about your radio. I'm gonna do it anyway. I think we're good. <laughs> so what did we learn? <laughs> this I don't know. What did we learn here? Oh, uh, we learned that your Jeep would rather dig a hole than tow a Tacoma. Yeah, I dig this Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> <She says. sighs> well, that was a lot of fun. If you want to see how these trucks did on the trail, check out our comparison test. For more videos like this, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more tug of wars, please let us know in the comments. And if you think we're complete idiots, all comments are welcome.